Okay, fourth lecture, all about agglomeration. What is agglomeration? Agglomeration is basically external uh, economies of scale. What does that mean? Well, that means, so internal economies of scale are like, you're getting more efficient as your factory grows larger. External economies of scale are, I'm getting more efficient due to spillovers, due to the more firms locating near me, the more efficient we all get. So it's like firms basically benefiting from being close uh, to one another. And so this explains why you see clusters of firms in a given industry in certain cities. There must be benefits to locating near my competitors versus far away from my competitors. Now you may think like, seems kind of weird that you would locate near your competitor. Don't you, aren't you worried about uh, industrial espionage or something? Wouldn't you want to be far away? Wouldn't you expect there to be like a tech company over here, a tech company over there? But no, they're all in, not all now, but you know, the majority are in Silicon Valley. Okay, so we can basically break agglomeration, the benefits to agglomeration down into three components. Uh, or there's like three distinct benefits. There's cost advantages, labor market advantages, and then just spillovers. So the cost advantages stem from being able to share intermediate uh, producers. So basically you're in an industry and you need some inputs, okay? Um, you know, so in the film industry, if you're making a movie, you need some inputs being say special effects or post houses to like do your color correction or sound mixing or something like that. And so if we're all, if there's a bunch of studios, we're all kind of using the same post house or we're using the same VFX house or something like that. There are benefits therefore to clustering near that input producer, okay? So one, it's just nice to get FaceTime. So if I know, okay, all these intermediate input producers are gonna be uh, you know, in, in the location with my competitors, it's just nice to be able to easily visit them to adjust, you know, make whatever adjustments I, I need. Um, you know, now, of course, you can do a lot of things remotely, obviously, as we've learned, but still, you know, there are benefits to that, to that uh, FaceTime. The second thing is as that intermediate producer produces more and more, so the more firms it's supplying, it's going to produce more and more and more, that firm is going to have those internal economies of scale. And so it's going to get more efficient, the more it produces, and we're all going to benefit uh, from that. Okay, so here's the example. The classic example is the dressmaker cluster. Um, you know, basically, you know, we're all using the same button maker. As we order more and more buttons, those buttons get uh, get cheaper, and then we can also, you know, have that have that good FaceTime. Or right, we'll take a break here, and then we'll go into the labor market advantages.